Hello guys, this is the Critic Corp, it is Toke again, solo dolo in it, uh, my fellow colleagues couldn't join me again, uh, they've been, you know, been pretty busy lately, tight schedule, so I, uh, I'm going to do the review today on Tar. Man, if y'all haven't seen this movie, y'all should definitely go check it out. It was fucking A1. Like, the performances were great. The Everything about it, the story, the plot, just A1 to the T. Like, I gotta give a shout out to Todd Fields. He did a phenomenal job. Uh writing this and directing this. Uh Kate Blanchett. Blanchett. Oh god, I don't uh her name last name, yeah, it's kinda bad for me to pronounce. But uh yeah, Kate, she man she put portrayed that role so well as a famous female music conductor. Uh shout outs to her. Todd Field said he wouldn't even do do this movie if she wasn't, you know, if she wasn't able to do it. He hasn't even did a film, I think, since like 2006, I want to say. Uh, I believe the Little Children, something like that. But yeah, so let's get into this. So this is about a famous female music conductor. You know, of an orchestra. She's, uh, she lives in Berlin. So, you know, it's like half subtitles through the movie of fucking German and whatnot. Which is okay to me. I don't care about that. But, uh, yeah, she, she's, she's like top tier, the, the best, number one fucking music conductor. Female. Female music conductor. Let me get that right. And we start off the film pretty interesting with her. Uh, they made it seem like she was going out to perform with her orchestra, but she was like pepping herself up, getting ready to just go out to her interview on uh, about her upcoming famous uh, symphony, the fifth. Fifth Symphony that she was going to perform with that same orchestra that she's like been been with for a minute now, and like she's you know she's on the roll. This is this is her this is her big break. Like after this, she's no one can touch her pretty much, you know. So she's like she's she has to do this. She has to do this just right. It's no fuck ups. They've been on a streak for this long. They they gotta continue it. So, uh, she said a a real good quote. Uh, it was like, if you wanna dance with the the Moscow, you must uh serve as the composer. You you gotta you gotta sublimate yourself, your ego, and your identity. You must, in fact, stand in front of the public and obliterate yourself. So, I thought that was like a, a, a real good, strong quote of mine out of the movie. It really stuck out to me out of all of those. Um. It was is the movie itself was like I said it was staged in Berlin, but she was everywhere with it. You know she like she was busy, busy. She was flying out everywhere. Like you know she was she was getting this all. She was prepping for all this. This was like her big break. You know she was about to she she was already known, but after this one, oh she was gonna be known across the map for sure. So. And it was it was a real heartbreaking 
because they just she had so many struggles so many struggles like i felt every single emotion for her my boy oh, my poor baby lydia she oh my god it was just her whole life went to shambles pretty much right before the the big performance days leading up to it uh they were fucking she had to drop people um so re-audition and whatnot for certain spots on the orchestra um she was getting like falsely accused of these sexual accusations uh with you know other females so she was uh she was a lesbian as well so that was like you know that was that was bad for her rep as far as you know she's a female so they're just waiting for her to fuck up you know pretty much they're like they put this whole demeanor of like you know male is no such thing as a good female uh music and conductor but she fucking she proved them wrong she proved them wrong and took her talents to states that no one would believe and for her to get all this you know all these trials and tributes right before leading up to her big break her debut break with her orchestra it was just you know it was real challenging for her she was she was going through it she couldn't you know she couldn't even sleep uh because she was hearing these sounds which were actually from fun fact they were from uh the blair witch product project i meant to say blair witch project uh the climax parts of heather fucking i don't even know her last name heather something uh shit got me fucked up now i think it was heather ah i'm so pissed heather donahue heather donahue yeah but she was uh she started hearing these it, it kind of reminded me of black swan because she was hearing these uh you know like you know black swan she was going crazy in her own head and shit trying to you know peer like become peer fetching and thought she wasn't you know good enough pretty much and that's what lydia was pretty much going through and it drove her nuts like man she was critiquing everything changing up stuff in the orchestra that she you know conducted um changing people the people around her that were you know like core co like co choreographers of the co of the uh orchestra like it was all she was literally just critiquing every single thing about herself she had she had she had doubt it's like she had doubt but she was trying to mask her doubtness and doubtfulness and it was like you know baby lydia you you've you been doing it why are you why are you trying to change things now it, it was it was so it was so bright it was so heartbreaking and i was I, like i said i felt every single emotion she did she literally she had a um she had her assistant quit on her left her you know high and dry it was just oh it was it was just heartbreaking it was really heartbreaking she literally had to um go and leave to another whole country flee to another country she think you think it was thailand or something like that and she fled it fled it to and 
started a new life there pretty much. Cause like she she blew it. She blew it. She blew the 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 the, the debut of the orbit. She blew it. And it was no term it was no coming back from that. She like literally made a complete just dumbass of herself. It wasn't it wasn't good. It wasn't a, it wasn't a good sight. It was pretty sad. She uh she had a breakdown pretty much, right? And right in front of the whole audience. So like yeah. It was no bueno, no bueno. Like she had to get out of there. It was some weird things I did find interesting, like the um she was driving this Porsche. She had this expensive ass Porsche, bro. It was fucking clean. But the back of the license plate said it had an S on there, which I found weird. So if she was if it was staged in Berlin, it should have been a B. I feel like I don't know. Maybe that's uh just me being a tweaker. Mm. And then when she fucking said uh she said fucking what did she say? Asked uh she got asked about uh if she was a Jew. And then she adds like like Matt's brunch or Matt Matt's br- brooch. But Matt's brooch was uh definitely not Jewish. He didn't have a Jewish background. So I don't know. You know those are just little things that I was like, ah, uh, threw me off. But other than that, the whole movie, like I said, I, I literally she Kate Blanchett played such a good role. I thought this was a real person. I thought this was based on a true story, like true events. I, after the movie, I literally Googled Lydia Tar. Like, this got to be real. Like, there's no way this is not, like, a thing. This didn't happen. So, but in fact, it it was not real. And I was pretty upset. Because I was like, man, eh. They really, they really finessed my eyes. I like they put. She played the role very well, very well, and I was just, it was, I was lost for words. I walked out that movie like man. I literally sat in the parking lot, just shot, stunned. Like damn, that was, a, that was a good two and a half hour movie. What was it? No, two hours and. 20 minutes or something like that. No, two and a half. It was two and a half. Yeah, but it was two and a half for sure. But, yeah, that was... It wasn't a dull moment. The pacing was well. Plot was all there. Acting was A1. Like I said, Todd film or Todd Field, you did your thing with this film. And I hope to see more by you in the upcoming future. Uh... And another another crazy thing was she learned she had to learn how to conduct the orchestra right then and there, like on set. And she knew how to play the piano, but she uh she had to relearn that. She had to learn the uh German. Like, man. Okay. <laughs> Okay, baby, you did your thing. You did your thing, girl. I applaud you for sure. Like, god damn. I get like, I got nothing else to say to this movie. It was fucking. If you, if you haven't seen it, it's your loss because it's in select theaters now. Select theaters is not everywhere. So, it's your loss. You're, you know, you like. You like intelligence on good movies. <laughs> I'm sorry if you missed this one. So, that being said, I'm going to rate this. Um, yeah. A+. Plus. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking about that. That's a fucking A+. Plus. Like, that shit was good as hell. I literally... 
I want to see it again and again and again and again. Like, it was so good. I was so mad it was only in certain theaters for so long. But, as we do our following, outro, close, shebang, like and subscribe, comment, support the corp, and you know, let me know, let me know, if you guys do see that movie, let me know what your guys thoughts about it is. Cause I fucking absolutely loved it. So, there's that. Toodles.